I really loved the first Gerald McBoing Boing cartoon. I just loved the noises he made. Gerald McBoing Boing is an individual, um, a young animated child who can only communicate through sound effects, basically. Whenever he opens his mouth, there are no words. It's just a sound effect, which I had a lot of fun, really enjoyed it. So when Gerald McBoing Boing on Planet Moo came up as one of the nominees for the Best uh, Academy Award Best Animated Short Cartoon 1956, I believe, I was quite excited. I was really keen to see what this was about. Um, unfortunately, I don't think it's quite as good as the first cartoon. I don't know if this is the second cartoon from Gerald McBoing Boing. Certainly it's the second one that I have seen. Gerald is very similar in, in, in style. He physically looks the same and he still opens his mouth and makes noises rather than words. So that aspect, brilliant, still happening. With this one, um, he is abducted by an alien and taken to the planet Moo. Brilliant name for a planet. And the king of this planet thinks that Gerald is a typical human with the way that he speaks. And of course, this is going to have problems with this alien planet's understanding of planet Earth. What could go wrong if you think humans all communicate with sound effects? I think life would be much happier if that's how we communicated. More difficult, but probably happier. Um, it's an interesting enough concept about him, um, you know, being on a different planet and meeting these individuals. These um, aliens don't look like aliens, by the way. They're like not, you know, your traditional alien. They look more like humans, just human type individuals who live on a different planet. Um, Gerald McBoing Boing seems to get on well there, and you know, it's an interesting enough narrative development. Um, do I think it's worthy of the nomination? I mean, it's not bad. The animation style is really pleasing. But I just... Maybe it's because I love the original Gerald McBoing Boing so much that it just felt not as good, not as powerful, not as funny, not as unique. Which, when it's a sequel or part of a series, yeah, fair enough. It's not going to be unique as, as unique as the original. But it just, it was lacking something. I can't put my finger on what it is because Gerald McBoing Boing is still as interesting. Um, the narrative develops quite well. The animation style is really pleasing. I feel like it's busier. It's a lot busier than the first one, which kind of detracts away from the fun concept of Gerald McBoing Boing's ability to speak or lack thereof and gives you a lot more to look at and concentrate on and it makes it kind of a slightly different focus. Maybe that's what it is. It's not a bad thing as such, but what I liked about Gerald McBoing Boing is not as prevalent in this one. It's a fun cartoon. Um, Marvin Miller voices various characters. I think I mentioned it's directed by Robert Cannon, based of course on the characters by Dr. Zeus. It's fun. If you like the first Gerald McBoing Boing, definitely check it out, but I definitely don't think it's as good.